Hi, hello again. Um, I thought I'd do another review. This is another kit I picked up um, relatively recently. I managed to get it at a reduced price. Um, I think they were doing 35% off actually. Um, and this is a bit unusual. Um, I thought, you know, why not give it a go? So, uh, Hobby Boss uh, Romanian IAR80, uh, kit number 81757. Um, as you can see, it's yeah, it's not certainly not a subject I've particularly seen before. Um, nice colour scheme, it's only a bit interesting, a bit bright. Uh, 148 scale, there's a couple of scheme options by the looks of things, although there doesn't seem to be much difference between the two. It's really just a, a number and you've got the sort of uh, shamrock, is it, uh, on the side there. Um, yeah, so Let's open her up and have a look. Looks like you get a bit of photo etch uh, in the kit, so that's always a nice bonus. Again, you know, Hobby Boss, good sturdy box, nice bit of artwork on the front. Let's put this over here. Parts out of the way. We'll start with the uh, instructions, I think. Start us off. Um, fairly typical Hobby Boss. Uh, you get a bit of advertising in some of the kits coming soon, or in fact, they're advertising the kit we've actually got, um, and the BF109 G6 and Soviet Armour Car. So I think that's a fairly standard thing. Um, we've then got um, a colour. I'll actually show you quickly that colour call out, which is always nice addition to have a bit of colour. Colours in Mr. Hobby, uh, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbrol. Um, so you've got a reasonable selection option there which is nice and as I say you've got the two uh, the two options there um, there you go what can I say black and white instruction um, fairly standard affair bit of information please read carefully blah 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 how do you, you apply decals and again the, the sort of information on you know make a hole cut remove that sort of thing uh, Sprue call out, which is nice, and then we go straight into the cockpit, uh, relatively straightforward. Um, the nice thing is, obviously, we've got some PE, so we've got some belts, which is always a bonus. Um, obviously, it's got paint, interestingly, it actually gives you RML color numbers here on some of these, um, and actually tells you the colors, which is quite nice. I'd imagine this is going to be fairly simple. Fuselage halves going together. Looks like you get a reasonably detailed engine, although you're not really going to see it once it's all covered up, I'd imagine. Um, not much to it there. It's composable flaps, one of lots of things. Um, landing gear going on and a few bits and pieces. So, yeah, I mean, it's you know, almost a weekend build maybe <laughs> if you get the time. Um, go straight on to the plastic parts. You've got one, two, Three um, sprues plus the clear parts down the box there. Um, let's open these up. Find a knife here. So this is our main fuselage. Um, again, we've got recess panel lines, some recess rivets. Um, all the parts seem to be flash free, reasonably crisp, got a reasonable amount of detail there inside on the side walls of the two fuselage halves. Um, you know, that's all pretty nice, there's not really much to say there. Interesting sort of, there's some re raised parts here as well, I imagine that's quite right for the aircraft, I don't know. Certainly nothing to um, complain about, I don't think, there. Details, the recess lines are quite subtle, not too large. Let's go for this bottom part with the wings. Again, you know, we've got some nice recess panel lines. Hopefully if that's focused okay, you can see that, you know, the details fairly crisp, no real dramas, 
nothing to really complain about there. You've got some quite horrible, ugly injection pin marks inside, but you're not going to see any of that, so not really need to worry about, I don't think. Doesn't appear to be any uh, flash or anything untoward. Uh, as I say, I think this will be a fairly reasonably quick build. Um, that's quite nice. There. And the final main sprue here. Got some extra protection on this one, which is nice. Let's see if we can't get that off. Ah, that's protecting the, the engine. Some very, you have to be careful there, some very small parts that could be very easily pulled off. Um, Nice, you've got, you know, for a, again, for a plastic injection molding, you've got a reasonably detailed engine in there. Again, all the parts are quite nice and crisp, and no real detail, uh, no real detail issues. You haven't got weight on wheels, unfortunately, and the hubs are, you know, they're not separate. Um, but other than that, there's not much else to say. There's certainly no evidence of any unpleasant flash or injection pin marks that I can see uh, in any horrible places. Obviously. You can see the injection pin area is outside. They put these little tabs on. Sorry, see that? So there's nothing on the actual flat there at all. So that's good. So that looks nice. And then last of all, we've got the clear parts and the decal sheet and a tiny, tiny piece of photo etch. So let's get these um, clear parts out and see what they like. Again, as with all Hobby Boss kits, which is lovely, very well protected. <sighs> you know, that's pretty good. It's clear. There's no centre seam or anything unpleasant. There's a little bit of distortion in the glass, but, you know, that's to be expected, I think, really. I would say that's actually pretty good compared to some. Nice. I mean, it's not particularly big canopy anyway so there shouldn't be any dramas there the masking should be easy it's got a reasonable ridge just pop that back in there so it doesn't get damaged and then we've got a tiny piece of photo etch let's go look at that again much like the Great Wall Hobby one that I reviewed earlier um, it's very similar photo which actually has got plastic on both sides it's a bit thicker and obviously it's pretty basic compared to the um, yeah, Edward offering, offering but it's just some belts really um, so you know it saves some money on buying belts which is nice or the hassle of making them depending on Last of all, we have our relatively small decal sheet. This should be easy. It's not going to be lots of stencils, thank goodness, <laughs> on this one. Um, I would say that's a fairly typical Hobby Boss um, decal sheet, to be honest. Not the best, but they're usually okay, I find. Um, you've got reasonable colour, there's some dials for the instrument panel which look okay, um, they're glossy, but they always seem to have this horrible stuff over them, I can't really explain what it is, but I don't know, again, you might not be able to see it, there's almost like a film of something, normally seems to come off once they're, you know, they're put into water and actually onto the, air, onto the, onto the aircraft, but they're not bad, um, you know, there's not a lot of stencil in there, so, it's going to be a nice easily, you know, you get that deck on, those decals on pretty quick and as long as they soften down, they should do the job. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, if, if you're looking for something fairly simple, um, something a bit more unusual, um, perhaps a weekend build or even, you know, yeah, fairly quick build, I think that's probably a good kit to go for. Cool, thanks for watching.